Anthony Marillillo rode out last week's tornado inside his home. It was uh, scary. There's no doubt about it. Never actually been through that before, as long as I've been here. His power was out for three days. He lost a freezer full of meat, now piled in trash cans outside his home. They had to replace the transformer behind his house. He cut up a tree that came down on his fence. His neighbor is still without power. I've been through neighborhoods that I still feel that we're blessed. I know we suffered a lot. Every single house over here has branches and everything. We was out power for three days, but I've been through neighborhoods that look like, like I say, a war zone. Look devastated completely. Miguel Callejas with CJM Tree Services has been working nonstop. Well, we've been super busy. You know, the unfortunate tragedy that happened here with all the weather. Um, you know, it's just been, you know, it's been a blessing, but at the same time, you know, we're trying to get lend a hand wherever we can. In the last seven days, he's cleared six houses, encountering trees on roofs and helping patch holes so the incoming rain doesn't further damage the homes. I know our customer over here, she had a, two hole punctures and it punctured the the material inside and their sheetrock and everything caved in their master bedroom and stuff. The city told me at the height of the storm, there were 60,000 people without power. Now that is down to under 2,000. The city of Temple created a crisis cleanup task force connecting residents with services like tree trimming and debris pickup. But for Anthony Miralillo, he is amazed at all the damage. Um, I'm just hoping everyone uh, you know, everything gets repaired. I was, I was told that it might take seven months before everything's completely fixed. 